Hello and welcome to Rick's Tool Time. I know we've almost completely forgotten about Christmas, but I thought I would bring this up in today's Tool Time. Just before we broke up for Christmas, we received a couple of lovely gifts. One was a packet of Jelly Babies from Dr. Robert Weller from Electrical Investigations Limited, which got stashed in my tool bag. The second was a lock-off device, but as I looked into the device, it has been on quite a journey from idea to product. In 2016, a young electrician named Neo from Birmingham encountered a problem while at work. Serving as an apprentice electrical maintenance engineer in a steel factory, he was tasked with isolating a faulty water cooler that had caused an electric shock. Realising he lacked a lock-off device for the required safe isolation, this marked the beginning of a moment of inspiration and a journey of innovation for Neo. That evening after work, Neo began sketching some designs for a few spur unit lockout kit. Over the next few years, he dedicated his free time to improving and refining his designs. In 2019, Neo entered Electrical Safety First Product Safety Innovation Award with his concept, which he had named Spurlock. After presenting his innovative concept to the panel of industry experts, he was shortlisted for an award. Subsequently, Neo was presented with the Electrical Safety First Highly Commended Award at Church House in Westminster. With this newfound award and formal recognition, Neo took his concept and developed his first proof of concept prototype. You've heard the story for the Spurlock. Now let's take a look at it. Within the case, we are supplied with the Spurlock device itself. We will trial this on some switched fuse connection units shortly. There's a small padlock included for locking off. The key is attached to a small black marker pen that we can use to fill in the lockout tag. Come in close and don't tell Gary or he will have this snapped up and I won't see it again. But under here hides a pouch to house the Spurlock kit and the carabiner is a nice touch allowing me to hang this from the side of my bag now we have been through the kit and seen what's supplied let's have a play right let's take a look at the spur lock and get it into action so what i've got here is three switch fuse connection units all with different fuse carriers i've taken the fuses out already on each of these so it should make life a little bit easier for myself so i can whiz through this if you just take a quick look on here, you can see there's a little lip on there. So on this particular fuse carrier, I have to go around the outside, clamp it in, which means I can't push that one down. So if I just slide across there, I left all my fingerprints on that one. On this one, if we look down here, you can see there's a bit of a barrel. So that allows me to just slide that down there and in, he says, into there. And then I can just pop a padlock through here. So then we'll just move on to this final one. And what I'll actually do is I'll just pop that out. So on this one, if we look down the side here, we've got a, a hole there. There's no barrel. It possibly could go around, but why not? Drop that out. Pass it through. Oh, missed it on that, that occasion. Let's try again. Pass it through there into there and then we've also got our padlock which we can just slide through there we've got our lock off tag with our details on there unfortunately i'm not telling you them and there we go one spur lock for those of you who are wondering i'm popping the keys in my pocket now so continuing with the safe isolation process, I would take my TIS GS38 approved voltage indicator and proving unit to the load end which has been isolated and test there with the switch in the off position. However, what if the polarity is reversed at the switch and I have actually only disconnected the neutral with the fuse? It will show the circuit is dead, but should someone come along and flick the switch to the on position, I may find myself taking a belt. To prevent this, I like to test with the switch in the off position and also in the on position at the load end. Now will this tool find a place in your tool bag like it has mine or is there something else worth considering? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments but if you'd like to delve deeper into safe isolation, check out this free training package. Ta-da!